Hello everybody, this is Daniil Cuellar from PeaceFinancism.com Out here in nature, the magnificent spontaneous order that surrounds us all. Today I want to discuss a New York Times article that was recently written called We Have Ruined Childhood. And it discusses how children are significantly more depressed and anxious now than let's say 50 years ago and it examines why and one interesting aspect of this is um, suicide rates are have increased in, ch in children especially during the school year and especially during school hours of the day now this is not surprising. Government school is not meant to educate your children. Government school is meant to keep your children in line, to teach them what authority is and that authority must be respected, that the adults must be the ones in charge, that they must always be right that problem solving is not something that children do of their own accord but that an adult figure must always be sought out if a problem arises if my kids fight and one of them gets hurt the first question is I ask is what happened who started it? Who hit who first? That's the question. And depending on the answer, you have different conclusions depending on who started, who was the aggressor, who was the defender. The strange thing about government school, when there's a fight in government school, regardless who started it, regardless whose fault it was, both kids get punished. So what does this teach? <laughs> This teaches no cause and effect between being the aggressor or being the defender. They're both the same. No, this is ridiculous. It also teaches that authority figures must be obeyed unquestioningly. Now this itself teaches a dangerous precedent. This teaches that adults, especially people in uniform, are the order givers and the inferiors, the subordinates, in this case the children, are the order followers. And this is inherently a dangerous concept for the kids to absorb. This sets the precedent that anybody who is in a position of authority, being a law enforcement officer, being a politician, being the president, being a soldier, they must all be right because they are in positions of authority. No, this is not the path of independent, free-thinking, autonomous human beings. This is not the path of people who we would like to learn reason and logic and compassion. This is not what is taught in government school. The lessons are quite clear and it is far from history, science, math. Those are irrelevant, especially in the age of the internet when all of this information can be gotten with a simple Google search, the memorization of trivia is irrelevant, is ridiculous, is antiquated. Government school is a dinosaur in an age of spaceships. <laughs> it is a relic of the past a relic of a barbarous past. 
if you wish to respect your children, their free will, their autonomy, if you wish to inspire in them their creativity, their imagination, their love for learning, you should not send them to government school because this is a direct affront on their creative and intellectual freedom. Children are no different than adults. The only difference I see is that they are inexperienced. Now, this does not give the adults the right to force them into an institution without their consent for 12 years of their most impressionable, 12 of the most impressionable years of their life. This is a true crime. I ask many kids who go to government school, how do you like it? Do you enjoy, do you enjoy your school? And they tell me, yeah. <laughs> who would enjoy that? Who would enjoy being forced into an institution where you cannot have any choice in what you learn, how deep you go into it? There is no choice. It is robbing kids of their potential for mastery in a myriad of different subjects. When children come out of government school after 12 years, what can they do? Can they start a business? Can they do anything other than apply for a minimum wage job at a fast food restaurant? trying to gain economic value. They are economically useless when they emerge from government school. Twelve years! If you devote your life to doing one thing twelve years, do you think you would be a master at it? You could be a master of many things if you devoted twelve years of your life to doing that particular thing. This is robbing them of their potential for success. We should not be surprised when children cannot fend for themselves after so many years of neglect, so many years of conditioning. This is not how to raise peaceful, rational, logical, compassionate, kind and loving human beings. Children must be respected in all aspects. If you wish them to grow up to be the beautiful, loving human beings that you want the future world to populate. Don't send your kids to government school. Don't give them to the state to raise. The words of Malcolm X. Why would you ever let your enemy teach and raise your kids? Thank you for listening. This is Danilo Cuellar from Peaceful Anarchism. Dot com. Enjoy the magnificence. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more of it, please feel free to donate and help me interview other fascinating people. You can do so through Patreon. That's patreon.com slash peaceful anarchism to help me out. A dollar a show is all I ask. If you feel so inclined to donate more, please feel free. It will only assist me in spreading 
the message of freedom and volunteerism that much farther and that much more efficiently. You can also donate to my Bitcoin. My Bitcoin address is in the description to my videos as well as on my website, peacefulanarchism.com. And while you're on my site, there's a donate button to donate through PayPal. If you prefer to donate through PayPal, you can do so with that. But Patreon is a little bit easier for content creators as you can set up a recurring donation if you so desire. Also, while you're on my website, peacefulanarchism.com, please feel free to sign up, enter your email address, sign up for my newsletter, and you'll receive updates every time I post something, a video or an interview. I do not send out any spam. Or you can also follow me on Facebook under facebook.com slash peaceful anarchism or facebook.com slash Danilo Cuellar 3, I believe. Danilo Cuellar 3. So either, either one of those methods, if you are able to donate, I would be most appreciative. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you have a magnificent day.